everybody, it's Rebecca here at Wine Mermaids, and today I thought that I would do my year 2015 year end wrap up, or kind of where I just talk about what I read in 2015, what my favorite reads are, what my least favorite reads are, things like that. Um, so I decided to do it with the, and combine it with the last Christmas book tag, which was created by Emma, and she tagged me, and it was, it's, it has categories, so each part of the, the tag is basically questions about your 2015 reading. So I thought that I would kind of use this tag to talk about my reading from 2015. Though it's not Christmas anymore, I thought that it was still a really good structure and I really liked the tag anyway, and Emma's really awesome. So I want to go ahead and say that I did read 81 books this year, which was six goal, six books more than my goal, which was 75 books. So it's the best reading year I've probably ever had in my entire life. I'm hoping that we're gonna go strong into 2016. So let's get into my the questions and my answers. And all of these questions go along with the lyrics of the song Last Christmas by Wham. Number one is for a book that disappointed you in 2015, and I'm just gonna tell you all the books that I basically gave two stars to. Um, so, and I'm not gonna talk much about them because you can check out all my wraps up wrap ups where I did talk more in depth about them. But these are the books that disappointed me in 2015: Everything, Everything by Nicola Yoon, Longborn by Joe Baker, Atlantia by Ali Condi, The Importance of Music to Girls by Lavinia Greenlaw, Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins, and The Young Elites by Marie Lu. Number two, a book you want to get to in 2016. I talked about the series I want to start in 2016 in the Top 5 Wednesday a few weeks ago, and I'll link a video to that. But in addition to that, there's Morningstar. Morningstar comes out in February. Yay! As does A Gathering of Shadows, which is the sequel to A Darker Shade of Magic by E.V.E. Schwab that also comes out in February, and I'm really excited about that one. I also want to read Sarah Ella's book when it comes out October 11th, which is also my one year anniversary to marrying my husband. So that happened in 2015. And again, I'm just kind of really excited about reading all the books that I haven't read yet that I own, and I really am excited about reading them. So just all of them. All the books. Three, a book you read in 2015 with a pretty cover. So my top covers are The Diviners by Libba Bray, Luminae by Jake Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, Anything by Neil Gaiman that I read, because I read all of his books, and I love the aesthetic look that is going on on all these covers. Like, it's just, ugh, I love it. I love simplicity and minimalistic designs and all of those fit it. And A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. A book that surprised you in 2015, it should be no surprise that my answer is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I literally picked this up because it was on a buy two get one free table at Barnes and Noble and I was like, okay, I don't know. So I tried it and then I was obsessed with it all year long. So definitely Red Rising. I could also say The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman, which was one of the first books in my year of Gaiman project and I was really surprised at how much I loved it. I'll talk more about that though in my year of Gaiman wrap up next week, I think, whenever I post it, basically. All My Friends Are Superheroes by Andrew Kaufman. It, I just, I had no idea that I was gonna love it as much as I did. And Wolf in White Van, I read it. It was suggested to me for a buddy readathon, and so I read it and I had no idea what it was about going into it and I fell in love with it and thought it was just amazing and beautiful. So that one also really surprised me because I hadn't heard a lot about it ahead of time. A book that made you cry in 2015. I don't cry a lot anymore when I'm reading books. It just doesn't happen as much. But I did have a reread of the Harry Potter series in July, and I cried at all of them. All of them. It was pretty bad. All of them. And I also teared up a little bit at Forgive Me, Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. Six, a book you loved in 2015. Now here are my five star reads, the books that I just can't get enough of, uh, or couldn't get enough of, and I talked about a 
ton on my channel, but I wanted to mention them one last time as my favorite reads of 2015. Of course, Red Rising tops this list. Like, it was my best read of the year. I loved it so, so, so much. It was just, it captivated me in a way that I was not expecting, and I just, oh, it's so good. You need to read it. Just read it. Just read it. Please just read it. Let me know what you think of it. Also, The Ocean at the End of the Lane, again, it was one of my favorite books of my year of Game and Project, as was American Gods. Those are my top two, spoiler alert, for the year of Game and Wrap Up. Uh, the third Game and one that really surprised me that I really loved was The Graveyard Book, which, oh, all of them were just so different and so creepy and so weird and so fantastic and magical in different ways and I loved it. Station Eleven is one that definitely stands out to me as being a top favorite for the year as well. I love the the writing style, the narrative structure, the multiple timelines interweaving and the characters interweaving. I loved the post-apocalyptic feel of it that was very realistic. I love post-apocalyptic and dystopian stories though, so that's part of it. But it was adult and I just, I just loved it so much. Again, A Darker Shade of Magic is one that stands out to me as being really fun and fantasy. I love fantasy. I loved the world building and the characters and I can't wait to read the next one. And I also just love Victoria Schwab who I just started reading this year anyway and that was just, the of that and Vicious, that was my favorite one. And I just, ugh, both of them were so good though. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and mention All My Friends Are Superheroes, which was such a surprise read to me that I just absolutely could not get enough of. And Wolf in White Van, which was another surprise for me that I didn't know that I was going to love it as much as I did reading it. And so, ugh, I just, ah, so good. I read J.K. Rowling's speech that she gave to the Harvard commencement, which was Very Good Lives, and I thought that was just beautiful and told in, I mean, it was her speech, but the way that they put the speech into the book was just really beautiful, and the message of the speak was, speech was also really, like, empowering and beautiful and just like exactly what I needed when I read it. I also really liked the writing structure and the narrative style of Illuminae, which was just, it, it's so cool. It's told through documents and emails and like video surveillance and the way that it's told and the fact that the story is still really strong and the characters are still really strong I thought was just a knockout. And then finally the last book that I'm gonna mention today is The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. This was, it's an epic fantasy series, the first book in the series and it took me like a month to read it but I I loved it. I loved it, loved it, loved it when I finished it and I can't wait to read the next books in the series. It was so like detailed and rich and going into that world is such a wonderful place to be and also a completely like Game of Thrones style anything could happen kind of place to be. So it's also a little bit nerve wracking but well worth it. And finally, the last question, number seven, is your favorite Christmas book, movie, whatever? And I did answer a lot of these during Vlogmas, so I'm just gonna refer you to Vlogmas because Christmas is kinda over now, and so I didn't wanna rehash all of that again. But I did wanna share that I did answer those if you would like to see them. I'll put links below as well. That is my year wrap up of 2015 and the last Christmas book tag all in one, all in one. It was a beautiful thing. I had a really great reading year. I'm really proud of it. And I read some really, really, really great books that I'm so excited to one day read again and continue on in some of those series. And just, I'm really happy to have experienced those worlds and kind of dived into them. Let me know down in the comments below some of your favorite reads or least favorite reads from the year. And that is it for me today. I'll see you next time.